Hi, and welcome to WhatsApp for Business. I want to create this quick little message to show you uh, exactly why um, WhatsApp for Business might be useful for you in your work with your clients. So the biggest difference with WhatsApp for Business is that you have a business profile. You can set away messages, greeting messages, and quick replies. Um, the business profile is where you would have your description, information about you, and the business hours, which is really crucial. And we'll get to that in the reply messages. But basically, once you've set your business hours, it allows you to create out-of-office messages um, auto replies and things like that. So, so you would go through and basically update and set um, a daily schedule for each day, essentially. So, you know, uh, when you are open for uh, for business, more or less. Uh, the language here is business, but again, think about it as your own organization. The away message, I think, is really crucial. This is like the auto reply in email or a vacation message, but you can also schedule something, which is outside of business hours. So you can have a message that is sent every time which probably would get a bit annoying for you and your clients, but mostly the business hours. And this comes up in particular when we're looking at boundary issues and helping clients understand when you're available, right? Digital messaging is 24 seven. We expect responses really quickly, um, but that's not realistic in the services that you provide. So this is a way to say, um, uh, it's outside of our business hours. This is what's available to you. And so you would create the description here. This is a very simple one. But you want to, might want to create something that's more comprehensive. So if someone messages you at 8 o'clock at night, the auto reply can say, I'm not available right now. I will be back tomorrow at 9 a.m. or on a business day at 9 a.m. So my, you know, make sure they understand it's, if it's the weekend, you're not available. So you could say, I'm not available on the weekend. I'm available from Monday to Friday uh, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, if this is uh, outside of those hours, here are the different ways you can get help. Here's 311, 211, 411, 911. Uh, or other numbers or links or information that you might want to provide to them to give them information about how they can access help or services um, or people even while you're not available, but also to reassure them that you'll be back the next day and you'll reply to their message then. Um, you can also decide who to send this to. So everyone who sends you a message, you can exclude your contacts. So maybe this is only for new people. Um, you can decide to restrict it or to to select specific contacts. So you have some some uh, some flexibility here. The other thing is the greeting message, which is for the first time somebody messages you or if they haven't messaged you in two weeks, as it says here, after 14 days of activity, this is maybe a reminder message. And it can be similar to the, to the away message or it can be a different kind of greeting. Hey, thank you for reaching out. I'm so-and-so. Um, this is an opportunity to build a little bit of rapport, to get, give them an automatic message that tells them a little bit about you, a little bit about the services you provide, and again, even rem reminding them perhaps of the boundaries uh, and when you're available, for example. Quick replies can be really useful for form messages. So what happens here is basically, um, if you are answering the same questions multiple times, for example, you can create these quick reply messages or canned messages. So this is the thanks message, for example. So if I'm in a chat, um, I just hit slash thanks and it sends this longer message. And again, you can put as much or as little text as you want as it says you can attach media, whether that's an image or a PDF or a form or something like that. So if you're getting questions from people, where do I find X, Y, and Z? You know, where do I find, how do I apply for my SIN? So you might have a slash SIN and it gives a detailed information about where they can apply with a link or perhaps the form itself, for example. Um, so you can add a number of, uh, of quick replies that allow you to shorten the time so you're not constantly answering the same questions, retyping or finding or figuring out where to copy and paste a message from because you already have it right here within the business tools. So those are really the most important pieces. I think you can kind of explore the rest of the app, but for me, um, that's a game changer in terms of being able to, to, to remind people when you're available, to set those